Hi, this is Jonathan from Barn2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sell WooCommerce customer-specific products to companies, sports teams, schools, and more. Now, there are lots of reasons why you might need to sell user-specific products. For example, you might want to sell different apparel or merchandise to sports teams or soccer clubs. Or maybe you sell uniforms to specific schools. Or perhaps branded company workwear with the company's logo. In any of these examples, you're going to need a hidden area of WooCommerce for each customer. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do with the WooCommerce Protected Categories plugin. And you don't need to edit any code. A link to download the plugin is in the description below. The plugin allows you to add hidden product categories to any WordPress WooCommerce store. And you can have a separate category for each customer, each with their own unique specific products. The way it works is that your customers, sports teams, clubs, companies, etc., will use a simple password to log into their own hidden category. Or you can set it up so that specific logged in users or roles are automatically given access to their own category, where they can view and buy their products in the normal way. No one else will know that these products even exist. You can also use the plugin to create user specific pricing in WooCommerce just by adding a different version of each product, each with its own unique price, to a customer's category. OK, to start, let's quickly install the plugin. You'll find a link to download it in the description below. Once downloaded, just install it in the normal way by going to Plugins in the Admin, Add New, choose the zip you downloaded, upload it, activate, and click on Settings. Once in settings, enter your license key, activate, and we're good to go. Now, it's important to remember not to tick these boxes here, as doing so will show your protected categories in the public part of your WooCommerce store. Now, let's create a separate category for our first organization that we want to sell user-specific products to. So I'm going to go to Products here in my dashboard, then to Categories, and under Add New Category, I'm just going to add a simple name for mine. I'll call it Specific Branded Hoodies. And then at the bottom here, we now have a new visibility section created by the plugin. And this is where you can hide and protect your new category. So I'm going to tick Protected. And I now have three options. Password protect this category, and you can very usefully have multiple passwords. You can also have the category automatically unlocked for specific users here and for user roles here. OK, if I now add this new category by clicking here, that's all done, and I can add products to my new protected category. You might want to have multiple categories for each organization. And that's easy to do with the plugin by creating a subcategory. So to do that, I'll just create a new category and call this one um, Extra Discount. And then all I need to do is where it says Parent Category here, I'll select my main category I previously created like so. Now, what's important to remember is that if you choose Public for the visibility of this subcategory, it will inherit the same protection, same password, users, etc., as the main parent category. And you can create a nest of as many subcategories as you need. So if I add this subcategory, you can see over here in the list of categories, here's my main category, and then underneath is the subcategory I just created. And you can see under visibility it says inherited. So it's inherited the same protection as the main category. OK, so now we have our protected category, we need to add some products to it. So I'm going to go back to the admin and to products. And you can either create new products or choose existing products. I'm just going to add this one here, hoodie with zipper, by editing it. And coming down to categories here and adding it to our new protected category. Don't worry about the visibility of the product. Leave it at the default, as the plugin will automatically protect it. OK, so once you have your products added to the hidden protected category, 
we need to create a user-specific category login page. In other words, we need to show our customers how to view their hidden category. Now, for password protected categories, you can just use the short code, square bracket, category, underscore, login, close square bracket, to any page on your site, or create a new one and then link to that page, for example, with a menu item, or you could just email the URL of the page to your customers instead. So to do that, I could create a new page by going to the dashboard, pages, and add new, and I'll just call mine customer specific hoodies as an example. And then I just need to add the short code, square bracket, category, underscore, login, close the square bracket. Now save my page. And now if I go to that page, I'm prompted to enter the password. And once I enter it, there, I'm immediately taken to my hidden customer specific hoodies category. All I need to do now is add this page to a menu or just send the link of the page to the customers. If you're using users and user roles to protect your categories, you just need to link to a front-end login page. For example, the main WooCommerce account page, which displays a login to logged out users and guests. And that's it. I've now created a protected area of my WooCommerce store specifically for a particular organization to view and purchase their related products. They will add to cart and check out in the normal way using the WooCommerce standard checkout. You'll find a link to download the plugin along with a detailed written tutorial in the description below. It's a really easy way to create customer specific protected areas of your WooCommerce site. Thanks for watching.